Princeton's university students are now put in a tough position after their school lost its accreditation and appeal. Their degrees may be in jeopardy if the school remains unaccredited when they graduate. WRL's Carly Haynes found out what this means for these students' futures and the decisions they're currently facing, Carly. Well, actually, for alum, their degree still carries weight because they were at the university at the time it was accredited. But for current students, that could mean something else. Uh, we spoke to one student over social media who said anyone who's not a senior right now is definitely looking to transfer. It's a question that St. Augustine students must face following the loss of their school's accreditation. Stick around or transfer. The juniors kind of have to look at, okay, if they don't get their accreditation back by the end of next year and I stay, then what? Academic consultant Dr. Christine Hall says the decision depends on whether students believe the university can turn things around by their graduation date. They've been there a long time um, with, with new leadership in there. If they put this, you know, plan together, they should be able to regain their accreditation if they, you know, follow the steps. But some students may not be willing to risk it. For one, no accreditation means they can't get federal financial aid. I don't think transferring is going to be difficult for them. It's just going to be that whole college search process again. Um, and, and that's stressful. Paul said there's a silver lining. Historically, colleges welcome students impacted by accreditation loss with open arms. Wake Tech has already seen interest from St. Augustine students. In a statement, the college said, quote, of course we feel for these students and we'll do whatever we can to help them achieve their higher education goals. But the loss of accreditation is not the students. And to hold them accountable for that normally is not going to happen. And St. Augustine's plans to file a lawsuit which will allow them to maintain their accreditation while that plays out in courts. Ashley. All right, Carly Haynes live in Raleigh. Thank you.